Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about the top 6 midsize SUVs that are almost perfect according to consumer reports. Number 6 is the 2024 Mitsubishi Outlander Plug-in Hybrid. With an overall rating of 82 out of 100, Consumer Reports is satisfied with this PHEV. In road tests, it had a score of 79, reliability was an impressive 87, and owner satisfaction was 3 out of 5. The Outlander PHEV's genuine EV capabilities sets it apart from its non-hybrid sibling. It can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 7.2 seconds, thanks to its 248 horsepower total system output. Additionally, the larger battery improves riding comfort by reducing vibration and offering more stable control. To improve the hybrid driving experience, Mitsubishi modified this model by adding more battery storage, increasing the output of the electric motor, and improving regenerative braking. It is not without limitations, though. When the battery runs out, the Outlander PHEV's fuel economy drops to 25 miles per gallon, which is comparable to non-hybrid versions and not optimal for a plug-in hybrid. Furthermore, when the gasoline engine starts, highway performance can be noisy and at higher speeds, some drivers may feel the steering to be excessively light. Competitively priced, the base model of the Outlander PHEV starts at about $40,000 while higher trim levels go up to about $50,000. Though it has certain shortcomings, like a lack of sensation in the brake pedal and problems with driver assistance systems, its enhanced features and dependability make it a standout choice among plug-in hybrid SUVs. Number 5 on our list is the 2024 Honda CR-V. Long a mainstay of the SUV market, this model still performs admirably but is increasingly up against competition from hybrid cars. With a dependability rating of 78, a road test score of 88, and an owner satisfaction rating of 4 out of 5, Consumer Reports gave the CRV an overall score of 85 out of 100. The riding quality of the CRV is one of its main advantages. In addition to providing passengers with a secure and comfortable ride thanks to its firm suspension that effectively isolates most bumps, the car's excellent handling and confidence around curves improve the driving experience. There are certain disadvantages, though. The 1.5-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine, which takes 8.8 .8 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour, a longer time than prior models, is regarded as unimpressive and seems less strong in demanding circumstances. Another area where the CRV is lacking is fuel economy. The all-wheel drive variant gets a total of 26 miles per gallon which is less spectacular than hybrid options and a regression from previous iterations. Positively, Honda's sensing suite of active safety technologies, which improve driver and passenger safety, and the CRV's sturdy build quality contribute to the vehicle's continued dependability. These features include automated emergency braking and adaptive cruise control. Depending on features and options, the base LX trim of the 2024 Honda CR-V costs about $30,000, while the top-tier touring version can cost up to $40,000. In the midsize SUV market, this price is reasonable. Although the CR-V is still a strong competitor, Honda will need to improve performance and fuel economy to maintain its position in the rapidly changing SUV market. Number 4 is the 2024 Hyundai Tucson Hybrid. This SUV, which ranks in the top 5, has been creating waves in the market by fusing efficiency and style. It received an excellent overall score of 85 out of 100 from Consumer Reports. In particular, the Tucson Hybrid received impressive ratings of 94 for dependability, 53 for road tests, and 3 out of 5 for owner satisfaction. The 1.6-liter turbocharged engine and electric motor combination of the Tucson Hybrid set it apart from the competition, allowing it to accelerate to 60 miles per hour over 2 seconds quicker than the non-hybrid model. Its impressive fuel efficiency of roughly 35 miles per gallon and its ability to run entirely on electricity up to about 33 miles make it a great vehicle for city travel. Hyundai has also given careful thought to the driving experience, providing precise, well-balanced steering and fun handling, particularly on twisting routes. The suspension is adjusted for maximum comfort, efficiently damping shocks and adding to the cabin's quietness. The Tucson Hybrid has active safety systems as standard, such as lane departure warning, 
automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, forward collision warning, and lane keeping assistance. The base model of the Tucson Hybrid costs about $30,000, while higher trim levels with more options can cost up to $38,000. It is competitive in its segment thanks to its pricing. It is not without limitations, though. Better materials and fashionable controls have raised the quality of the inside, although some features, like the push-button gear selector, might not be clear to all drivers. Furthermore, there are worries that certain interior materials might not hold up as well over time, which could have an impact on durability in the long run. Number 3 is the 2024 Kia Sportage Plug-in Hybrid. Consumer Reports rated it 87 out of 100, with a dependability rating of 64, a road test score of 92, and an owner satisfaction rating of 3 out of 5. The Sportage PHEV offers an estimated 34 miles of electric range, ideal for commuting and longer trips with its gasoline engine. Its 1.6-litre turbocharged four-cylinder engine and electric motor produce 261 horsepower, accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7.4 seconds. Charging takes about 2.5 hours with a level 2 charger or under 11 hours with a standard outlet. It excels in precise driving and handling, though bumps may be felt in the cabin. Safety features include adaptive cruise control, blind spot warning, and automated emergency braking, though the lane keeping system can be overly sensitive. Starting at around $39,000, with higher trims up to $44,000, it is competitively priced. Drawbacks include less smooth acceleration when switching engines and a drop in fuel economy to 31 miles per gallon when the battery is depleted. Number 2 is the 2024 Subaru Forester. This model focuses on reliable engineering and driver priorities. Consumer Reports rated it 88 out of 100, with 90 points for road tests, 82 for dependability, and 4 out of 5 stars for owner satisfaction. The Forester's standout feature is its ride quality, providing comfort on various terrains with quick steering and excellent handling. It boasts an impressive 28 mpg overall fuel economy. Safety is prioritized with standard features like automated emergency braking, lane departure warning, forward collision warning, and lane keeping assistance. The base 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine offers moderate acceleration, taking 9.2 seconds to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour. Priced between $26,000 and $39,000, the 2024 Forester is competitively positioned in the compact SUV market, appealing to buyers seeking safety, usability, and comfort. Number one on our list is the 2024 Toyota RAV4 Prime. This SUV combines power, efficiency, and technology, earning 89 out of 100 points from consumer reports, with 88 for road tests, 84 for dependability, and 4 out of 5 for owner satisfaction. The RAV4 Prime boasts a combined 302 horsepower, accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.3 seconds. It offers up to 42 miles of electric-only range. Charging takes 2.5 hours on a 240-volt outlet and 12 hours on a standard 120-volt outlet. The improved suspension over the regular RAV4 ensures a comfortable ride with strong and seamless power delivery. Safety features include adaptive cruise control, automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, and front collision warning. However, the braking system has some issues, such as long stopping distances and an overly sensitive brake pedal at low speeds. Priced between $43,000 and $47,000, the 2024 RAV4 Prime is more expensive than the standard RAV4, but may qualify for federal tax credits. Its performance and features suggest it could be the mid-size SUV of the future. Thanks for watching and see you next time.